Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ironside cast with me Matt. If you're too too for you all here on Stadtsjut on the Western Front. Let's go for the players. We have a double United States here. We have Professor Strait again with Airborne Company and Core White without something else. Or CA White. Not paid anything at the moment. And for the Germans we have Orkon as Ostdivision for the Wehrmacht and Rachel as the Waffen SS. It just turns out. An American Airborne, that could be interesting, but we're seeing double re echelon to start with. Looks like a uh, Ranger is gonna be the other choice here for the other Americans. So, very elite commanders here for the Americans. I wonder how that'll work out for them. Up, also, there's an American Rifleman coming here. Up, there's a little bit of a weird movement thing going on there, as expected. The uh, Buffett has already encountered some of the re echelon here. Moving into this trench in the center very quickly. It's also a victory point match. So hopefully we will not drag on for too long, which I prefer. We do have a Pioneer Squad here taking care of these Vierslon. Vierslon had not have much cover to work with. Vierslon are generally not the best of combat infantry. Not really what their role is, but they can handle themselves somewhat reliably. As you can see here, they got a lot of rifles pointed at these Pioneers here. They have some American Viper here in the center, laying some fire down at these Storm Pioneers. Storm Pioneers still holding on there. Maybe we have some Storm Grenadiers moving out. Looks like Rachel's going for Panzer because we see Hitler Youth on the fields. Americans have managed to push the uh, Pioneers off here. We have some Grenadiers and double Osttruppen around on the field here for the Germans. So some Eastern Europeans have been pushed forward here to try and fight back the Americans in some city here in the Western Front. The ruins of one, anyway. The Americans also killed the Northern Field Points. And then he has given under southern field point, but victory points are getting into the hands of the Americans bit by bit. At least one of them will. But Germans have secured the other ones to prevent any victory point bleeds. But we won last victory points, it's not gonna be that much of a rush for them to keep control of the points. American Viper moving about here. Trying to stay among grants to get some flanking shots in. But they are in a position where they themselves can be flanked. No one really covering that flank at the moment, and these Hitler Youth are not really moving to do it, do so. But the Ostrupen has suffered some losses. And Hitler Youth are getting quite close here. And as you can have a good angle here to work with. Because remember, cover is directional in Combined Heroes. That's very apparent when you play mods like Spearhead and Ironside. And America's taking it up, up here the northern flank. And have requisitioned a 50 caliber machine gun, good to see. If the Kalb machine gun can just chew through Kupel Wagens or the light vehicles the Germans may bring out. Because of a Jeep here with a 30 Kalb on top for the airborne. The Kupel Wagen is armed with an MG42 here, so that's going to be a very good suppression, suppression platform. If the Kalb needs to move up quickly, be careful where it sets up. Because if the Kupel Wagen can rush it. Oh, the Kupel Wagen is used to push the reaction out of their cover. That's very mean. Very mean there. But the cool does not get that much out of it, to be honest. Actually loses its gun in the attempt. That's why you don't, you don't actually want to drive close with your light vehicles, as they get shot up pretty damn easily if you drive too close. Now the Jeep is helping push the buff this is off. Yeah, the cool has been cleared out. Not looking good for the Germans there. The Germans are trying to get aim for the uh, southern victory point here. Both Truppen and Grenadiers are working together to push up. Covering each other on their approach. Good to see. You didn't want to use cover very, very efficiently here. Use use units to cover each other. Don't bunch up. It crossfires, as you can see here. That's great. They want the Ostrupen. And they want to suffer one loss, though. American Rifle now getting BARs, though. So the Jeep was cleared out by some Storm Pioneers. Pretty Cover Machine Gun setting up back here. Americans need to try and make a push for the victory point. They probably think there's some Germans keeping an eye on it, but there isn't. Given the Jeep coming up from the United States, it's going to be for the Rangers this time. The Airborne is still so far not using the Airborne Infantry, just the basic Rifleman. Which is probably a good choice, because the Airborne right, Infantry is pretty damn expensive, and you also need two command points to get them now. Right than out the gate. Oh, you can get the fire team. Oh, it's because they've got two, major, uh, two command points. I personally feel you should be able to get the airborne out the gates, but that's just a personal opinion. I miss that. I like being able to just get the airborne out the gate, but you made me feel like I was playing an airborne company. Uh, Lieutenant has been assigned to field ops. 
Americans are starting to gear up here. But Buff Nessus is getting in position to keep an eye on the point now. Now the Americans can no longer rush for the point anymore. Oh, they are keeping the uh, here to prevent the Germans from getting too close. That's at least working out. But the Americans are still losing victory points at the moment. Yes, they're very, very slow. Because it's 2 to 1. It might, it's going to be, actually be a free now, free to zero. Because the Germans have managed to secure the southern point. Lots of shifting going on here in the battlefields. Now the Americans are actually going to start losing points fairly fast. Three points every tick, so to speak. Germans laying a mine here in advance. German Hitler Youth are advancing here. MP4 is being equipped and that grenade assaults. The Americans don't want to stay there. That's a lot of grenades. Springfield sniper rifle on one of the uh, rifleman squads. He pushing up to try and provide some support fire. I don't feel it'll do too much. The Germans are quite entrenched. Once the MT42 is done reloading, he can lay down fire on that Jeep. He has to get out of there. As you can see, mobility lost. So they're getting mobilized here shortly. There it goes. Fire popped. And his machine gunner is also down. That Jeep is just an easy target. Looks like Professor got hit by something. Now, Ostrom got hand. Did they not think Ostrom had hand grenades? Yeah, Ostrom, Ostrom have uh, air hand grenades, I was wondering. And we have airborne squads now in the fields. Very elite squads, but very, very expensive. Being equipped with a 30 caliber machine gun at the moment. And more Ostrom being pushed up, up as well. Try and scout ahead for the uh, airborne. You know, the Americans are pushing forward with a jeep to capture. The jeep can capture ground. Can also, we have to pull back there. Okay. Germans have brought up an MP42 to cover the area, so that's going to be very difficult for the Americans to push up on now. The airborne trying to get into position. MP42 is now rebuilt itself. But the Americans, though, they cannot get too close in this area. That's a large open area here, after all. The 30 caliber is ripping into the Grenadiers. Airborne are pretty damn accurate. Now they need to focus on those uh, Ostrobin. Well, they are starting to suffer losses at long range here to all the K98s. Now the and once the streets don't get too close, the MG42 is going to rip into them. Oh, they can, they can see them there. Meanwhile, the Germans have also pushed up here. I'm missing a lot of the action. But this has managed to push them to the northern flank here. That fighting position is not going to do much. But cleared up by the D.C. Hitler, you're pretty quick. And Germans are already laying mines on the fuel point. He's trying to turn around here. They also have a ranger squad somewhere. There they are. Very high quality infantry from the ranger company. You can get a lot of work done in the right positions and with the right equipment. They're facing a lot of uh, opposition here. Besides Stum Grand even an MG42. They also lack any upgraded weapons on them. But that said, they are fairly accurate with their M1 Garand, so don't underestimate them. That said, they are dealing with an MG42, which is not going to be to their advantage. The airborne is pulling back. They probably suffered too many losses in, in the long run here. Especially with the 2 to 2 presence. We do have a Stuart tank arriving for the Americans as well. We also have a Greyhound being prepared here for the uh, American Rangers. Like to see the Greyhound. Oh, they cast the Greyhound, I think. Oh, that's a shame. I like the Greyhound. We barely get to see it. We also have some Panzer here in the field now for the Buffness. Student Gavir has an MG42 being upgraded. Zoom the Hindia is actually slowly being uh, willed now by the double BARs of the Rangers here. That's a lot of firepower. And also the Springfield Cyber Rifle from this uh, Fiveman squad. The problem is there is going to be a minefield at fuel points. Good tank is going to probably push for that 2 to 2. And the 2 can actually deal with it. There is also a pack. Pack failed to penetrate. That one did not fail to penetrate. 
Who has to back off quick? Ah, gets taken out. And looking good for the airborne. Reduces the second airborne squad arriving. Atika managed to hit the uh, 2 to 2, forcing it back. Ooh, these American Raiders do not have an easy approach here. They all have to huddle around that truck, which is not going to be good, especially when there's an MD-42 heavy machine gun pointed at them. They're all going to be stuck there. The is now in and without the Storm Gewehr also pointing at them, they want to just... These just get out of that. He needs to just retreat. Smoke grenades are being popped, though. Very good. It's going to lessen the casualties as they run back. That's the Germans with a counterattack. Lots of more semantic weapons have been handed out. Good choice when there's so much urban environment going on. Moving about the back is still bleeding victory points. But the Americans need to push through here somehow. It's not going to be easy. Found that the Wehrmacht is entrenched, that they are very hard to get rid of. But the Airborne are slowly pushing up. And the Airborne are really good at what they do. Now the Rangers are getting a 30 caliber machine gun. He was doing his best to try and hold the Germans at bay as more Germans move into the ruins. 42 and... 42 and Student Gewehr Arms Panzman is moving about as well. Are the pistols being prepared here? Smoke being popped down there. But they're also open. Don't really stand a chance in frontal engagements against the airborne, as you can see. The airborne are just too good at what they do. That airborne motor has smoke, but it's not smoked the right spot. As the MG42 has moved. Smoke has been popped up. Mine could have been laid there by the Americans. But there's another MG42 coming up. They don't want to be there while that's going on. Now the airborne is going to try and take out the MG42 crew. And the MG42 crew does not have a lot of cover there, actually. So I think the airborne can actually take it out. Just need to keep the pressure on. But the airborne squad has to pull back and might not actually survive. No, oh, he will survive, okay. The man's pinned you on the MG42. Americans are ensuring the Germans are not getting any fuel up there at least. The Germans have secured this, this part of the ruins. The airborne squad clears out the MG42 team. With a blitz on the move, to the two is almost ready again. The airborne decides to pull back at this point. What can the Americans do to push the Germans out of the ruins up here is the question. Oh, and yeah, the dose is... Those Sturm Grenadiers and Panzer Grenadiers in that position have a really good area of fire, like two MG42s and, lo and some automatic weapons. That's very good. Students arriving. The Germans don't have a lot of AT equipment on them at the moment. We have a pack back here, but not, about, not up in the ruins here. They have laid some S-mines, though. That won't stop a tank. I think the Germans realize there might be a tank coming. They're quickly pulling back to better positions. They can spread out and try and get a panzer fast started by encircling it. It's probably the best move they can do here. Canister rounds are being used by the uh, steward here, which is a unique shell the steward can use. Makes it essentially fire a giant shotgun shell, so to speak. And the Germans need to fall back, realizing what's going on. And more more mellow my mines have been laid about here. I would also like to see some regal mines. The cover is preventing the canisters from doing too much, but the Germans don't want to try to lock too much or test their lock. Pack is being rolled up. No more smoke rounds being used on here by the airborne. What can the Americans do here? We do have a Hauptmann from the Wehrmacht, keep an eye on the front line. MG42 is communicated again. I like to see that the uh, Orchon is moving the uh, MG42 around and laying more mines everywhere to cover the flanks. That's very good to see. 
Ooh, we're now in the mine preventing the airborne from assaulting. That's the wonderful thing about the S-Mine, so you can just prevent infantry from moving up. But the MD-42 is not here to stop them. The American uh, airborne are gonna try and attempt this. That's not a lot of cover. Ah, they lose the guy. That's not good. And another mine kills them. But the airborne can grab it on a 30 caliber. That's double 30 caliber on this squad now. That's a lot of firepower on a single squad. And they already pinned down the Ostrom in seconds. Harman's moving about. 2-2 two two on the flank. But 80 gun can see it. And 50 caliber band is cleared out too alongside it. So that's a cleared out 2-2. Two two. Yeah, double 30 caliber on the airborne squad is laying down the fire. Holy shit. Artillery's been calling here by the Harmando. It's going to be a concentration barrage. No, if the Americans want to stick around for that. Good concentration barrage there from the Harman. Did a lot of work. And the Germans also preparing to push up here. The FNSS is brought up by Panzer 4 ja Want to try and take this color point. Ooh, the machine gun is not covering this flank. Hitler Youth can push you up, and the machine gun is retreating. Hitler gun is also going to be vulnerable. They're going to mow down the crew in seconds. And that's true, it's not going to be able to stop a Panzer 4 ja there is a mine though, I don't think the Panzer 4 ja knows that. Now the mobility is critical, it's actually been detracted, so that Panzer 4 is stuck. But it's been stuck in a fairly good position at the moment. The Germans can easily try and repair it, and its front is pointed towards them. Took out the Stuart. Not long move for the United States here. And the Germans still digging in the southern flank with the Wehrmacht. But he needs to take out that Panzer IV somehow. And the Americans don't really have a good way to flank here. Because so the United States Airborne Air, Air Force is trying to do something here. <coughs> it's going to be a defensive overwatch. I don't think it works because this is neutral? Yeah, because this is uh, friendly. This is, this is neutral territory. No, they're still doing something. Yeah, because it's not friendly territory, they cannot shoot them. But the A2 Sherman is moving to flank. They're gonna go for this squad though, because this is technically considered friendly territory. Sherman got a good flanking shot there. Fans for J is in a very bad spot. Back is turned around. Smoke has been popped. Because they are coming in again for another strafe. And Panzer Volk is taken out. Now you just need to take out a pack. Express round has been loaded. Doesn't kill them. But surprises them. Makes them weak, and then the machine gunner is gonna try and do something. But they managed to get it to hit the vision block. But Jeff decided to pull back. This side is not worth fighting for. Another eight, another stream has arrived for the other American. The Americans have suffered a lot of victory point loss. Hitler Youth being suppressed. What is strafing? Is strafing to destroy tank again?
They have been remaining up in the air for a while because this is, it is defensive Overwatch. I think defensive Overwatch has lasted a very long time. Well, it looks like they are going to prepare for a 500... Right? What is that LB? 500 pound bombs? <laughs> Double Sherman has survived for the Rangers though. And they push through with that is the question. More mines have been laid by the Germans. Probably anticipating this would happen. And mines are very important to German anti-tank strategy, so... They, they shoot at area for a while, don't they? Fans could just have to get out of there, especially with the Sherman out. Sherman push for the center, they're finally going to take a victory point back. Meanwhile, the Vama just falls itself on line here and digs in further with the, with Dragon's Teeth and everything, and even Dembo charges and reinforced by wire and minefield. Man, the Oster Division is really digging in in this part of the city. I guess it. It, allow, it will allow the airborne to just support, though. Need to take that victory point, though. That'll lessen the uh, bleeder points. One of our fighting positions is sustaining fire. The airborne are moving through the center here. We're just shipping for support. Packs are pressing, though, to try and help. Packs can get a good side, side shot here on the Sherman. Hitler, you're trying to push up. Radar source being used. This is going on the other Shermans are preparing to advance. Sherman get taken out by uh, nearby the airborne. The airborne assault team is still working the best they can. So the position going in again on so the strike going in on the American positions. Pull in by the Hauermann again. And a pan a headset is being prepared by the Oost Division and a pan for tank for the uh after this I saw. More Shermans being prepared by the United States Airborne. The Rangers are advancing with their own Shermans. There's also Scott arriving. Shermans just push through the stone walls. Access to quickly change target. Just to back off there for repairs. Now with the Panther arriving, I think the Shermans are gonna be a little bit outmatched. Shermans are gonna have a hard time dealing with the Panther. Especially the A2 Sherman. Scott's been used as an artillery piece. Getting straight up where the Panther is actually. It's taken out, and now it's gonna go for the Scott there. Let's get it taken out the Scott. At least clears it out. Heads are covering the southern flank now. The heads are lacks in the NTA for you can build his this flag and high explosive rounds. Doesn't hit. Oh, the Sherman has arrived for the airborne. The Germans remain firmly dug in here in the southern flank. We said before each commander bunker back here. They really uh, know how to dig in. Even laying more mines just in case they do get pushed back. They're good forward thinking. They done a lot of fire there. Smoke being popped there by the Sherman using its smoke canisters. This is to advance, but there's packs pointed at it. Putting high explosive around. Will it work? Nope. Hits too much of this rain. It's not an easy point to take when it's mine and there's a lot of fire pointed at it. Book popped. 
So how am I going to keep the artillery barrage going? I guess he might as well. I think the Americans actually don't want to stay there. That's a concentrated barrage. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's concentrated. Yeah, no, he can't. He cancel it? But I cancelled it at the last moment. Pamper yeah. takes out the Scott again as it was de recruits. I think the Rangers don't really have what it takes to stop this Panther. Well, he's not at the moment. Ready. Crew ready. The Americans are just being played off points at the moment. When that free engine starts, a good spot. It looks like they will be able to drag it back to safety. Now with the airborne uh, assault teams being equipped with grease guns on top of their Thompsons. So that's fully automatic weaponry, I think. That's a lot of automatic firepower on, a single on two single squads. As you can see. But he is behind cover. Yeah, want to quickly spreading him out. And closer, and yeah. Little you've retreated that, realizing what's going to happen. Sometimes have, have a firefight with a with packs and a heads up. Not really what the uh, Sherman is best at. There's also Panzer 4H. Sherman gets taken out. There's also the Panther still roaming about. And the airborne assault team might get taken out. Oh, that's a, that's a satchel charge, I think, actually. Which does save them, I think. Definitely disrupted the movement of the Panzer Grenadiers for a bit. They got, they're trying to clear them out though, but it looks like the Airborne will get out of there. But 80 gun is not going to be as lucky, I think. I feel the Americans might have been a little bit overextended here. Well, not really overextended, but just overrun. The German players have done a very good job here. Ooh, no, those pets could hear Stu die, though. That's an MG4 too, but they can't go move to grab it. The bunker stops them. And the Americans are just being played off points. Yeah, and this point is surrender. A good match in the urban environment here, I think. But the Germans won out. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye bye.